Well, she let Michael off today? Not necessarily off. Oh, you got him at home working? Yes. God, you're rough on that boy. Uh, he gets his stuff done. <laughs> you don't ever let him just have a day off at all? Uh-uh. No, not, no, that's not fair. Uh, what do you mean it's not fair? He works all the time. Exactly. It's all right. There's a pool he can relax in. He, he <laughs> don't sound there. like he gets any time to relax. <laughs> no, he's, uh, what do you say? He's putting up the siding where we had built our carport in. He's putting up siding and stuff like that, so it's nice. What? Yeah. So y'all just have to deal with me. That's good. No problem <laughs> at all. Well, what cool new stuff you got. I seen uh, the creeper and stuff yep. you put on. Our the... creeper, this is one of the things that they did at the expo. Um, it's the eagle one, which of course it's kind of slid behind that one, but you have the bigger one in the back, which is 34 inches. Mm -hmm and it holds 660, I think is what it holds. And then you have the smaller one that has the little tray underneath it. And I'm thinking it's three something. Wow. So, I mean, it's nice. Uh, we have another one coming in and it's American flag. Mm -hmm. Hasn't come in yet, but you know how that works. Um, we picked up this box last Friday. That red and gray looks really good together. It does. Um, that's one of the, older style forests you know they mm -hmm. redid it but we've had a lot of people liking it had a lot of people try to run their credit for it <laughs> so yeah that's a really good yeah. color combo that's that thunderstorm gray that everybody loves yeah so looks good it does different yep that's the main thing is everybody's I guess when it comes to gray people like to add stuff to it because it all looks good like I love the gray and the blue um, some people did the orange mm -hmm. and gray. Looks nice. But well, everybody was bragging about your hats that you <laughs> had done up, the colors. I was like, man, those look really good. Well, so see, I thought I'd show all the colors this week. Cause. Yeah, we there is a lot more colors. We just, we want to do like a test run mm -hmm. on those. I have purple that's supposed to be, you know, we're thinking about getting some of them because, you know, there's a lot of women out there that like to wear hats. Yep. And believe it or not, there's a lot of men that like to wear pink hats mm. or purple hats. They're cool looking. So what's the best color so far that you've had? Uh, the gray and pink. Gray and pink. They, I was going to say probably the gray and pink or the gray and orange. Yep. Those are the two ones. Most of them buy, they'll buy their self the orange one and they'll buy their wife the pink one. So. I, mean, I think everybody's kind of getting burnt out a little on green. Yeah. Kind of, but now the blue, you know, it's it's nice too, the yeah. blue and gray. So, I mean, we'll eventually get red and gray and you can match the box. There you go. <laughs> I mean, well, but they look good. They do, I believe. So, uh, Print Villains is who we had embroider them for us, and they do a really good job and fast. So, That's we like good. to support our local people. That's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. Um, I think Michael wanted me to show these, so maybe you can explain them. They're right here. See them right under, right there. <laughs> oh, these? Yeah. Okay. You pull them out. Sure. You can explain them better than I can, but now these are, they're new to our truck. We're not 100% new. Sure, if they're new, new, but that's what they are. All right, so here's your part number, because everybody fusses at me <laughs> if I don't give the part number. Okay. But it's a 3 8 drive, 4-piece, 6.10-inch metric impact universal extension set. Exactly. And, and I just read that straight off the box. I know. That's the <laughs> so best thing to do. That's what it is. <laughs> All right. So it's a swivel socket, pretty much, yes. that is married to an impact exactly. extension. That's the best way he explained and it to me. He said, look, you just try. So I'm trying. <laughs> You're just doing fine. Tool. You're doing good. Okay. So these, the best part about them, what he told me, is that they're already together. Yeah. So you're not having to worry about it slipping mm. off or your lock messing up. Yep. So. so in other words, it's a 10 inch extension, just like you guys would normally have in your box. And instead of it being jointed here, it's made onto the socket, as you mm -hmm. can see. So you don't have to worry about it coming off. Exactly. That's perfectly, that's absolutely right. <laughs> so. so I mean, whatever helps y'all. I don't know. Yep. I don't ever use them, so I couldn't. Well, 
I make Michael use them. That's what I was going to say. You probably make Michael use them. <laughs> I do. Like, people, I'll give you an example. My brother and my sister-in-law, they have, my brother has, like, an older Dodge. I think it's, like, a 94, 95 Dodge. Mm -hmm. He likes to tinker with it himself. Well, my daddy was no mechanic, and he's no mechanic. So he'll call Michael and say, hey, somebody, um, I'll give you an example, an alternator. Him and his friend put one on, right? So Michael, he's like, can you come here and check this? Because I'm not sure if it's right. So Michael, he pulls up, pulls it up in their yard. Michael gets underneath there, and he's looking at something because it was a ball joint that he was starting with. Well, then he asked about the alternator. So he gets up there, and he's looking at it, and they hadn't even bolted it back. Like, it's just sitting there free. And I mean, I'm guessing alternators have bolts. Like, yeah, yeah. Around I bet them. Michael was laughing. He laughed. He said, who did you have do this? And he's like, well, my friend up the street. And he's like, don't ever. Don't, just don't take it back. So. Golly. Yeah. That's crazy. My family don't have the mechanics in. <laughs> when you got friends like that, you don't need enemies, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, Michael stays busy with my family a lot. Yeah. And, which is not a bad thing, you know. Yeah. So, which... Just the pay sucks, though. That's my problem. Yeah. Or, or you got the people, and I know the guys watching this channel, and they've got friends like this. Hey, man, will you help me do this? And they pull up in the yard. And that the means car. help me. I will stand there and ask a bunch of questions while I watch you do it. Exactly. That's how it works. Well, see, I, I supervise all day long. I will, but don't get me. <laughs> That's like we were changing uh, the oil on our Tahoe before we traded or we sold it. Yeah. I did it for the first time. Like I got underneath there, I, you know, Michael had to break the bolt loose because mm -hmm. there was no way that I could break it loose. And I mean, it felt good to be able to do something like that by myself. Well, I tell you a secret that'll help you get you a pipe you to put over the ratchet handle, <laughs> and then you can break it loose really easy. Just don't tell your Matco people that you're using a ratchet for a breaker bar, and it'll be okay. Yeah, you would think though. I'll be honest. Like somebody would come out with like a one that you could actually sell. They got them. It's Did called they? a long extension and a deep socket. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Like <laughs> you could take that socket's too big, but you take like a I don't know. This one here would work perfect. You put a long extension in it, and then you slide this your ratchet handle right in there, and you've got a homemade improvised lifetime warranty cheater pipe. Well, that's actually pretty neat. That transmission extensions you got right here. Uh-huh, the big one. These, on that deep socket, on a regular chrome ratchet, like that. And you're good to go. And that I taught you something. Yeah. And then you if you slip break it over the handle and lifetime warranty song. Slip it over the handle and go. And then when your Matco guy, when you finally strip the guts out of it, he said, why don't these marks on the handle? Be like, I don't know, it just happens. Just happens. <laughs> That's right. I tell him, I say, don't tell me. So yeah. Just don't. I'll just we, fix it. We won't. Let's just don't even lie about it today. I'll just fix it. How about yeah. that? Well, see, last week I had to run Thursday by myself. Well, Michael ran last Thursday by his, or yesterday by himself. So we have a diesel shop, and they have one of our very long uh, half inch ratchets back there, which they should be using a three quarter inch ratchet, mm -hmm. but they use a half. They stripped two of them out on doing whatever it was they were doing. Yeah. And I said, how? I said, because one had literally ate the gears into the head of the ratchet. So I had to replace the whole head of the ratchet. They said that they had one of these pipes that's probably about four foot tall and they had it and they were actually like right. trying to pretty much hang on it. And I'm like, well, at least I know my ratchet holds up pretty good. <laughs> to Matco should really get they're three quarter inch ratchets made by the same people. Don't get me lying. Because those extendable handle ratchets y'all got, I hate them. I hate them. You hate to love them though, right? No, I don't like them at all. Like, I hate them. I think that's like they need to get the regular ratchet people to make your three quarter inch ratchets. Oh, you're saying three quarter. You didn't say three eighths. You right, said three. three okay. See, I yeah. yeah, couldn't hear you. But, yeah. Well, y'all used to keep that three-quarter inch ratchet down here, and I hadn't seen it, or I would show it to you guys. Yeah, but. we don't keep that on here unless they request it, because I think that Now, Wright makes on. one called a railroad ratchet. Mm -hmm. You should get one of them and put on here. That joker is tough. It's already like four foot long as it is. Oh, wow. But it's solid steel handle, 
you're not gonna tear it up. It's tough, like really tough. And it's made in the USA. Oh, well, that's so nice. You should look at getting one of those. <laughs> They're really tough. <laughs> well. Very tough. Well, is that all, the only new products I got this week? That's the only ones I think I'm gonna show. Okay. So. I figured y'all got a bunch of Expo stuff in. So. We're getting it in bit by bit, so. Slowly, fair enough, slowly. fair enough. She's holding out on us. Well, I gotta save something for the other video. <laughs> All right, so somebody did ask about this to the part number on the um, oil filter wrench is OFA A6, I guess. No, no, no. Here's the part number. That's gonna be on the six pack of them for the dealer. It's a OFAAG and a OFAAM. Yep. So that's the two colors. So. Yeah, we try to keep that one stocked, but as you can tell, it they sell. Hard to do. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.